Hello, hi everyone, I'm Rosie from Rosie Sews and today I'm going to show you how I made this gorgeous cozy cohort set. Now it's got this lovely placketed neckline with a collar and the trousers are an elasticated waist with a flare. So it's a really, really lovely, easy, simple make that is perfect for cozy nights in, loungewear around the house, working from home as well because it's got this sort of collared top. There are so many possibilities for this pattern. So I'm going to show you today and I hope that you enjoy how we make it. Let's start by putting the pattern pieces together. You'll have to align the half diamond on each side of the page to the other pages. So the best way to do this is to fold in one page's corners so you can see the edge of the diamond. And then you place that on top of the other side which hasn't been folded. And then you should create a full diamond shape. Stick that together with some sticky tape and you're ready to go. For the fabric, you want to choose something which is really soft and lovely and has a bit of a stretch to it, so it's really comfortable for you to just relax in. Once you've stuck together and cut out your pattern pieces, you're ready to start to place them onto the fabric. So I place the fabric on the floor with the wrong sides together, so the right sides are facing outwards. Now let's start by sewing the trousers. Now these are a really simple pair of trousers to make. The size I'm making here is a small, but next time I make it, I'm 100% going to opt for a bigger size, just because you want that extra little bit of comfort when you're at home. Once your pattern pieces are all laid out on the table, you're going to separate them and put them so that they are right sides facing together and you're going to align them at the crotch. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to be sewing all the way along the crotch line on the front and the back pieces. Choose some thread, I'm using invisible thread and I'm doing it in my bobbin. And it's time to sew. So you're going to be sewing from the top of the waist all the way to the bottom of the crotch. It should look something like this once it's done. Next, we're going to put those two pieces on top of each other with the right sides facing. And then we're going to sew the back and the front pieces together by the sides and on the inner leg line. Make sure you're matching up the crotch perfectly so it's all nice and neat when it's sewn together. Take it back to the machine so we can sew down the sides and the inner leg line. You can see on the image here. And this is what they should look like once they are finished. Next, we're creating the channeling where the elastic is going to sit. So what we want to do is fold the seam allowance by the middle horizontally, bringing the top border over to the waistline. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way around that, keeping the seams really neat and leaving a space free about an inch to maybe two where you can insert the elastic. Take it over to your sewing machine and sew it all together. Now, let's add the elastic. I would recommend using elastic, which is much thicker than this. <laughs> but if you don't have any to hand, you can use this hack where you actually zigzag stitch two pieces of elastic together and it creates one nice big thick piece of elastic. Now we want to feed the elastic band into that hole and make sure it goes all the way around. This can be a bit fiddly, but take your time with it because you'll get there. Once you've done, you want to then sew the edges of the elastic together, overlapping them so they're nice and strong. I would go over this a few times. Once you've done that, sew the hole closed and then hem the bottoms of the trousers. Next, we're on to sewing the shirt. So you want to start by folding the plackets vertically and pressing them or securing them in place with a pin. With the right side facing up, you want to place the placket on the front and align it to the inner borders. Sew the plackets with a 5mm seam allowance and stop at the bottom of the collar. Once they're sewn into place, you want to snip the inner corners of the shirt, but don't cut the plackets. Fold the plackets onto the wrong side, overlapping them and then pressing them securely in place. You can then top stitch or invisible stitch the inside by hand. You can even overlock this so it's nice and neat. Next, I went ahead and joined my shoulder seams together. So I placed my fabrics right side together and sewed along the shoulders, as you can see here, and neatened up all of the edges. Now we're onto the collar. So pull apart your pieces and what we're going to do is with right sides together, place the fabric on top of each other. And next we're going to then sew all around the sides and the top, leaving the bottom open. Next we're going to cut away all of the bulk so when we turn this inside out, it's going to be really flush and neat. When we turn it inside out as well, we're going to poke in the corners so we've got nice sharp edges. 
Next, we're going to add the collar to the shirt. Attach the underside of the collar to the shirt. So the right sides will be facing each other. You'll have to pin this in place and it can take a bit of time, but it's worth it to be done right. Then sew that all into place, leaving the upside of the collar unsewn. You can see I've gone ahead and sewn that into place. Next, we're going to tuck the collar in on itself so it's going to have a really seamless finish. You pin that into place and then sew along the edges and that will be the collar completed. As you can see, I'm sewing the shirt collar all into place so it'll be nice and secure. And the collar should look like this. Next, you want to flip the shirt so the wrong side is facing up. Next, we're going to add the sleeves. Align the centre of the sleeves to the shoulder with the wrong sides facing upwards. You want to do that on both sides and then pin and sew them into place. Now let's put this all together. Sew along the sleeves and the inner line and then hem the bottoms and the cuffs. And that's it. That is the cozy cohort pattern that's been made. I hope you've really enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what else you would like to see. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's rosie underscore sews. See you there.